This past week has probably been one of the craziest weeks in South Carolina football history. A lot of distractions with the resignation of head football coach Steve Spurrier. Still trying to get over the flood in Columbia and all the things that the Gamecock football team has had to endure this year. But the back and black Gamecocks come out with a 19 to 10 win, getting their first win of the season in the SEC and interim coach Sean Elliott's first win. Yes, the back in black Gamecocks. South Carolina came out with a new look dressed all in black this year. The Gamecocks had been scheduled, the players said, to be in the all garnet uniforms, but Coach Elliott threw them a new look with back in black, played some ACDC music during the game and all, and made the game fun for the players. The players really seemed to have fun. It was almost a comparison that I could make of like when you go to school and realize your teacher is not there and you have a substitute teacher, lots of times the kids can just relax, have fun, and have a good time. And that seemed to be the case today. Coach Elliott even made the comment that he wanted the players to have fun, maybe even to, to the point where they might get a couple excessive celebration penalties, which they took literally and did, though. But the bottom line was the South Carolina defense came out and played the best game they played all season. And again, I had the opportunity to talk with several players and ask them, was the black uniforms the difference? They said yes, they. The bottom line was two of their best players stepped up and had great games that you had back in the backfield again. Now Brandon Wiles with a 100-plus game. Had 119 yards rushing. Farrah Cooper with a 78-yard touchdown pass. And it's kind of funny because they both looked at each other and said the last time we wore all black uniforms, we both had career-high games. And it was the game last year against Tennessee. So we may see a new trend now. We may see South Carolina retire the Garnet uniforms for a while, which is good because I was kind of getting kind of tired of the killer cranberry look with the all Garnet uniforms though. But the bottom line is South Carolina gained some confidence today. Again, with a great defensive performance, the offense put up over 400 yards of total offense. But the big concern with Sean Elliott was we only had 19 points. They had to settle on way too many Elliott fry field goals, but it sure felt good to get a win again. The Gamecocks get that monkey off their back. They now climb to three and four on the season. They've got to try to find a way to get three more wins to get bowl eligible, but it's not going to be easy. Gamecocks will have an off week next week before going to Texas A&M, to Tennessee, then having to come back and play the Florida Gators, Citadel, and Clemson to round out the schedule. It's going to be an uphill battle to find three more wins to get to six and six, but who knows, a little black magic may do the trick though. Again, Coach Elliott, with his first career win, will be trying to take the interim label off and he sure won a lot of fans over today. Again, got several Gatorade bats, had his scrum before the game with the offensive lineman, and again, when the game was over, went over with the fans doing the alma mater, high-fiving the fans, was a big hit with the crowd tonight. Happy night, a feel-good night for the Gamecocks. Fair going on across the street, but the circus was in town at williams Bryce Stadium just across the street. Gamecocks win tonight, 19 to 10. We'll take a week off before going to Texas A&M two weeks from tonight. Reporting for Cox Sports Broadcasting, I'm the coach, Dick Cox.